In this video, we're going to see if we can draw a spline on a complex surface in Fusion 360. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we are going to try to answer the question, if you can draw a curve on a complex surface. Now, I already know the answer to this, and if you want to cut to the chase, the answer is no. We can't directly draw a curve that snaps to the surface of a complex shape. Now, I know other CAD packages can do this, but what Fusion 360 can do is it can snap a curve to the surface, and we can use that to our advantage. So I just have something I lofted here, just has some curvature to it so we can play around with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to pick whatever plane I want, and I'm going to enable this 3D sketch option in my sketch palette. Now, there is also an option inside of your user preferences. If you go to your design section, there is an option here where you can allow 3D sketching of lines and splines. And that checkbox is actually the exact same one as the one in our sketch palette. If I turn this on or off in our sketch palette, so for example, if I turn that off there, it's going to turn it off inside of your sketch. So in this case, because the sketch is already active, it doesn't work, but just note that they are the exact same. So once we enable that, what I'm gonna do is start a spline and notice that the surface turns blue when I hover over it. Now what I can do is I can start sketching on this and as long as I don't actually click one of these planes and start sketching off in space, I can actually get a, a in this case, a spline to stay on that surface relatively close. Now, when I say relatively close, what I mean is it's not actually snapping to the surface, but it's pretty darn close to it. Now, it might look like it's snapped to it, but if we try this again with a spline and say I come from here to here and I okay that, you can see that the spline is actually dipping below the surface. And that's because the spline itself is not staying on the surface, but the points that we selected are. So this doesn't have any direct control over the curvature, the direction or the intensity of the tangency weight, but it does let you draw on a complex surface. Now, the next step for this for me is to finish the sketch and to create another sketch. And I know this seems counterintuitive, but create another sketch on any plane, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go to our create, project include and project a surface. So in this case, the surface will be our complex one here, and the curve will be the spline we created. Now, this is going to go to the closest point. Now, what we can do is we can also take it along a vector. If we want to specifically go along Z, for example, what we can do is we can select the Z axis. So by adding all those spline points, it gets us pretty close to that final shape. And by projecting it, what we can do now is we can get that spline to be on the surface. So while we can't directly sketch on the surface and have the curvature map to that shape, we can get pretty close by using the 3D sketch option with a spline, and then we can simply project it to the surface. It's an extra step, but that will get you a little bit closer. So keep in mind again that it is not taking a look at the curvature relative to the surface until you actually project it on there. So. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.